And it's a story everybody is talking about. And this afternoon, we have some new information about the local children's choir that was kicked out of the nation's capital for singing the national anthem. Yeah, this is the video of when that happened last Thursday. The choir was cut off and the news spread pretty quickly. It's really been causing a lot of talk and all eyes on the choir, including our elected leaders in Washington, who spoke with Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder, who joins us live in studio. Well, Tori, at the start of last week, very few people actually knew who the Rushing Brook Children's Choir was or is, which is actually a homeschool group of 19 children ages 8 to 17. And now everyone knows who they are. And I spoke exclusively with Representative William Timmons of Greenville and Senator Lindsey Graham, who both feel that singing the national anthem should never be denied. And Timmons tells us as a member of his office was there when everything unfolded. And he says that someone from the Capitol Police press office, quote, spoke without thinking and this should never happen. I'm just shocked that there's a world in which the answer was ever no. Um, I don't understand how uh, a group of children singing the national anthem in Statuary Hall in any way, shape or form is a problem. And it's just very unfortunate that um, this one Capitol Police officer thought it was. And I can promise you that it will never happen again. Now, the speaker's office does approve certain activities at the Capitol, and uh, we want to be able to clear that Rushing Brook Children's Choir did have per prior permission to sing there. And Timmons and the choir director are working on a date for the children to actually return to Washington to sing again. All expenses paid and coming up at five o'clock, we'll tell you about legislation that's actually being filed to make sure that something like this never happens again. Tori.